Okay, so double paradiddles. Hopefully, by now you, uh, you're familiar with the sticking for the single paradiddles. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. For a double paradiddle, all we're going to do is add a couple of extra single strokes to each group. So we'll now have right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Okay? As we play through this, obviously, uh, those of you who know me, I am left handed, I'm going to be playing left handed. As you look at the screen, if we're playing along together, we should be uh, working out as a mirror image of each other, and I will be calling out the stick in for right handed. So uh, let's have a look. So the pattern is. Right, left, right, left, right, right, and then left, right, left, right, left, left. Okay? Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. And the aim is get rid of the gaps, just run it through, keep it going, we'll keep it all at one level for a moment. So right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. So far, so good, hopefully. First thing we want to do to that is, is perhaps put an accent in. And the first one we'll do is we'll put an accent on the first of each little group of six, okay? So you get right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, okay? Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right. In. This will make it flow a lot better. You put an accent on the first and third of each group. So right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Okay. Now what might be a bit of a new concept for a lot of you is the fact that the double parallel is sticking right, left, right, left, right, right. It's groups of six, okay? Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. So we've got to fix six notes in, in, into the gaps now. And what we, we do here, we're going to use semiquavers. And what we play now as a double parallel are going to be called sextuplets, which is basically we're going to get six semiquavers into the space of four semiquavers. So a little bit of counting to go on here. If you think of how you would count a bar of semiquavers, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, four sextuplets, which is what we're going to be playing with the double parallel, your counting will change now to something that may be new to many of you, and it will be one triplet and triplet, two triplet and triplet, three triplet and triplet, four triplet and triplet. So if we were to do a bar of semiquavers, and then a bar of semiquaver sextuplets, we're going to have one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one triplet and triplet, two triplet and triplet, three triplet and triplet, four triplet and triplet. And it's kind of important you get this right because we want to be able to put the double parallel patterns into your regular drum kit patterns. So we've got to be able to get this thing of going from groups of four into groups of six. So if we were to play, uh, think of a, maybe a bar of rhythm, we would be playing maybe one, and two and three and four and and then we put the bar of sextuplets in one triplet and triplet two triplet and triplet three triplet and triplet four triplet and triplet one and two and three and four and one triplet and triplet two triplet and triplet three triplet and triplet four triplet and triplet okay so it's gotta it's gotta come together so your two key things so far a is to memorise the sticking pattern, get okay, really, really well into your memory. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Then make sure we can sort out the timing of it so that it will fit seamlessly into the other things that you play. So what we'll do, we'll head over to the kit and I'll just show you a few things we can do with that. Basically we'll be playing that, that pattern throughout, but the, the great thing if you use that movement on the drum kit is it's splitting your hands. So you know you could maybe keep your right hand on your hi-hat, your left hand on your snare, Play the same pattern, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. You'll get something really sounding very, very different. You can move one hand around the toms, a split between the right cymbal and the high hat, things like that. So, first of all, just keep going on your pads. Get it into your memory. 
and they'll say, well, head over to the kit and we'll uh, we'll have a look at uh, how we can sort of apply it. 